Let's take apart this linear actuator to see how it works, to see what's inside. The bottom, once I take that off, I can see there's gears inside of here. This motor turns this gear, this gear, this gear, then turns this gear. This gear is attached to a long threaded rod. If I took this off here, and you look inside, here's the threaded rod. There's a nut inside of here that as the two turn in opposition, it spreads apart or it comes together. So this would turn and then this would come in or go out. Go out. Here's some electricity. Now it's not just any electricity, it has to be 12 volts and it has to be the right amperage. So I have the right converter here. Let's hook it up. And you can see the gears turning, which turns the rod, and the rod is moving away from it. If I reverse the electricity, you see the rod moving towards it when, when the electricity works. There it is. And again, those gears turning. So it's a very simple concept, but a very powerful actuator. These switches here, are just that, they're stop switches. So when it gets to a certain position, it hits this stop switch and it turns it off. When it gets to the opposite position, it'll hit this stop switch and it'll turn it off. There you go, linear actuator, pretty cool stuff. Ah, this thing's really greasy. <laughs> okay. Sticky fingers, sticky.